you work, you pay, we pay 6.2, and therefore we have this incredible, fantastic insurance. And I'm often surprised how people don't acknowledge, because when I ask people in audiences, when do most people start collecting Social Security? You know what the answer is? What is it? Yes, why is that still the wrong answer? You could be any age. I was nine when I was getting Social Security benefits. My father at 32 died, left my mother a widow with six kids, and she was six months pregnant. Social Security is an insurance plan. It's retirement, it's disability, and it's a survivor's benefit. And I want to talk to you about the disability portion. How is it that you can become insured for Social Security? I'm going to demo the website. When you create a My Social Security account, if you're filing for Social Security disability, you're going to find out how much money you can collect today. There's a link. You can apply for Social Security disability benefits online. Um, it takes an hour and a half of your time to file an application online. Do you want me to tell you how we can expedite your claim? Okay. That's exactly what I want to do because right now, when people file for Social Security Disability Benefits, we approve only 25% of the cases. The reason we deny claims is because people don't give us medical evidence, the necessary medical evidence for Social, social Security Disability. Uh, they will give us a cell phone and then we're contacting the individual and guess what? There is no connection. So within 30 days, we need to either file that claim or deny the claim for failure to cooperate. So how I can share with you the best way to file for benefits is with Social, Secur uh, with Social Security is to go online. And I think you could probably see from, see this, um, the screen here? This is disability. You can start your application online. So you would go to benefits, you go to disability, and you start the application. Once you file the claim online, it goes to your local office. Within um, probably five days, the Social Security office will call you and say, we got your medical uh, claim, or actually we got your disability claim. Would you like to submit any medical evidence? Um, you can sign a medical release and we can gather the medical information or you can help us expedite and submit all the medical evidence. If you bring it into the office, that belongs to us. So you would need to make copies of what's pertinent to your claim so we can process your claim. And the other thing I'm gonna show you is back in 2006, we had these blue books. And these blue books basically show you how a claim can be awarded on the first time. I'm going to, there's a search box there, right? Every, every website has a uh, search box. I'm going to say blue book. So now the first listing is the adult listings. So if you are an adult over 18, this is where you would wanna go. And Social Security, when you file this claim, we gather the medical, we gather the information, then we send it to the folks that actually do the medical decision. Social Security have, we have no physicians, so we have hired with the local state agencies, and they're the ones that look at your case, gather more medical evidence if necessary, but then they go based on these medical listings. So if you are disabled, this is what they're looking at. Um, if you, if you find your disability here, and it's pretty much verbatim to what we have on this case, uh, let's see. No, that's not the one, right? Down? <laughs> there we go. Now, I think, Burke, you were talking about you try to contact the insurance to get the medical evidence as to how can somebody be insured and what this is all here. For Social Security, it's right there. It's not a secret. We want you to be well prepared in how to process your, how to, uh, process your claim. So I would say this is where you need to go get all the medical evidence so w when you file, Everything is here. Usually it takes four to six months to process a disability claim. If you submit the medical evidence and it's categorized here, I can tell you that your claim can be processed within two months if all the medical evidence is there. 
So you apply online. If you feel like, no, I can't do this online, um, we also have our 1-800 number that you can call, set up an appointment. Um, our phone lines are open from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., Monday through Friday. Just say, hey, I would like to book an appointment. Um, I think there's a lot of folks here out of town, right? Out of, out of the state. So just so you know, the rules are the same. All offices um, under, know what our, what our local offices are. Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, 9 to 4 a.m. throughout the nation. People come to our office on Wednesday. Wednesday afternoons, most of our offices, you have a hard time finding parking. But on Wednesdays, everyone's so happy. Wednesday afternoons, they show up like 1 o'clock. Well, guess what? The office closed at 12. So yeah, there's happy people, but <laughs> people need to be aware of what our office. The reason we close at 12 o'clock on Wednesdays is because we technically have 10,000 people becoming 62 a day for the next 21 years. And our job is to process those claims. So we adjudicate Wednesdays 12 to 4. That's kind of our time to get the claims done. So getting back to this website here, this is the way you can expedite your claim. And by the way, if you're asking, if you were going to ask me about this blue book, we no longer print them because it took too, it takes too much time to update books like this when we can basically show it online for you. Um, so to be insured for Social Security, you have to work and pay it into Social Security. You need to have five years out of the last 10 to qualify for Social Security disability. Retirement, you just need 40 credits, which is 10 years. And I think most of you remember we used to send you a statement three months before your birthday. It would tell you your monthly benefit. We stopped sending that in the year 2010 because it would cost like $30 million a year to send that statement. So now you can go online and that's what we're, um, that's what I'm showing you here. Create an account, you can get your statement, you can find out if the person is insured for social security disability and, and collect. Uh, once you start collecting social security disability, uh, you can get Medicare within 24 months. So after 24 months of being on Social Security, Medicare, the Medicare card will come automatically to the individual. You'll have the Part A and B, A covers hospital, the B portion uh, pays 80% of your doctor bills. The premium generally is $104.90 for the Medicare Part B, which is the do uh, doctor's portion and that's automatically reduced from the person's monthly Social Security benefit. We do want people going back to work, like Joni. Social Security is just a good security blanket that we all have, so if you start collecting Social Security disability benefit, oh, and by the way, that is one of the myths that I get quite a bit, people saying, oh no, I don't want to apply for Social Security benefits because they think that if they take it today, when they become of age for retirement, they will have exhausted their benefits, and that's completely incorrect. Uh, when you pay the 6.2 tax out of your paycheck, when you're working, you are paying into Social Security Disability, Social Security Insurance, and retirement. So if you start collecting disability today, let's say you go back to the workforce in five years, your retirement, it's still there. It has not been reduced, and it will continue to grow, especially if you continue to add earnings to your record. For um, There's another number that I really would like to share because I had some questions about the health insurance and getting the coverage on medical. Um, medical costs. And it, here in California, it is known as the high cap uh, other states have a program, and it's called the Health Insurance Counseling Advocacy Program. Um, the, the number for California, but if you go online, you will find it. Health Insurance Counseling Advocacy Program, which is HICAP. The phone number is 800-434-0222. And this group can help you decide, besides Medicare, would you like to have a secondary insurance to maybe pay for other bills? And that's a good source to get assistance because there's so many people out there trying to sell you insurance. 
these folks are by the state and they're just going to do whatever is best for you. So I would highly recommend um, maybe talking to those individuals. The number again is 800-434-0300. Uh, in California, we call it high cap. Other states call it SHIP, like the SHIP. So you can look those acronyms for wherever you are, whatever state, and you'll get that information. So if you work, um, here's another thing, I, probably the last thing I'll share with you. If you start collecting Social Security disability, Social Security is going to give you the opportunity to go back to the workforce to see if you're able to continue your full-time job. And what they will do for nine months, they will give you a trial work period. So the moment you get a job, let's say you've been collecting Social Security for a couple of years, you want to go back to work. The moment you, go, you want to go back to the workforce and you have your first job, um, basically you've gone back to work the first month, let Social Security know. So we will start counting, and you will need to let us know how much you're earning, because if you start to earn more than $700, and it's a little bit more than that, we're going to count nine of those months. So after nine months, if we look at the fact that you're gaining uh, gainful employment, we're going to do another medical review, and if, we f and if Social Security finds out that you're able to go back to the workforce, Social Security stops. Medicare will continue for an additional 36 months, but Social Security benefits stop, you're back to the workforce, you know, full time, and then again in the future, you know, you could either come back and apply for Social Security disability if you are disabled, or draw your retirement if that's, you know, when you're at that age. And again, the last thing would be knowing where that blue book is. And I think most of you saw that, right? Socialsecurity.gov, we had a woman who applied online at socialsecurity.com, gave all her information, and of course, it's not, a social, it's not a government site. So whenever you go to the website, make sure that it is GOV, okay? We, we take great pride in securing your information. This information is encrypted, so just know what site you're applying. And this would be the same as you coming into our office. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy San Diego.